Hello, hello, hello. This is Aubrey Bursch with Easy School Marketing, and I'm excited to be here with you today. So we're gonna talk about three keys to using videos and photos <laughs> effectively in your school. Now, I consulted with my social media manager to make sure we could come up with some ones that we're seeing a lot of that, if corrected, could bring you a more effective way of doing things in your school. Okay, number one horizontal versus vertical photos and videos. So our general take is horizontal over vertical. Why? Because horizontal videos you can use on every platform, you can cut them to use on different things, but when you have vertical only, it gives you very little wiggle room. So definitely horizontal and vertical, horizontal versus vertical, we're gonna be on the horizontal team. And we, after many, many, using social media on many, many platforms for many, many different schools, that is our recommendation. It's just more versatile and more user-friendly and you can definitely do more with it. Number two, build systems. Okay, so whatever you're doing with your photo and video, we should have a system for collecting them from faculty and staff and then a system for organizing them to make sure you know which ones you've used and where you've used them. Uh, I, my, Mickey, who's my social media manager, is amazing. And um, she is great at labeling things um, and telling when we've used different photos. Sometimes we re go back and reuse certain photos that we found very, you know, had good traction or it's been enough time and we wanna use them again. But the way she's organized everything in our Google Drive has made it a seamless process. And that's what we recommend to schools is build the systems and then make sure that everyone knows how to use that system. So if faculty and staff are submitting you photos, they share their Google Drive with you. So then you have access to their photos, they put them in one place, and they can easily be found and used. So that would definitely be something we would recommend. And number three is being consistent and setting boundaries. So if you're a social media manager and you're trying to, um, you know, create content on a consistent basis, um, you need to have a schedule and a consistent schedule and expectations surrounding that schedule. So at Easy School Marketing, for our clients, we load on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Why do we do this? Uh, because it allows us that time period to gather information and curate it and create posts and then schedule those posts on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So our clients always know, okay, we just need your stuff by Tuesday evening and by Friday. And that creates the expectations, it creates the consistency. So we're always making sure that we have relevant information posted and everyone is on the same page. That is key. So those are the three tips that we wanted to bring to you today. We hope you found them helpful. Thanks.